Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. I really do. If this is your first visit, please consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. Hear all those birds singing? Ha! They're just as, as excited as I am, but probably for a different reason. Right now, I am set up at Lake Somerville State Park, halfway between, um, I'm actually at Lake Somerville State Park, Birch Creek Unit. Now, if you're, if you're not familiar with that, you'll have to go back in time last, probably last Sunday, sometime back in there, I posted a video about this particular campground. I'm done here. It has been three great nights. This park is practically empty right now. It's, it's the middle of March 2021, and there's only like 10 campers, 10 RVs in this whole campground, and it's a big campground. So I've got this, this section here all to myself. Been beautiful, but I'm done here. I don't need to keep talking about this. I got a whole video on this. We're going to pack up. Already packed up. Going to jump into Miss V RV. And we're going to head around and down to the other side of the lake. We're going to pay a visit to a Corps of Engineer campground, Rocky Creek. Rocky Creek campground, Lake Somerville. So let's get on the road. It's going to take me about an hour to get there. It'll be about 30 seconds of time lapse for you. So let's go to Rocky Point. Turns out Rocky Creek Park will not allow you to into, you can't get in until three o'clock or later. Check in is not until three o'clock and they absolutely will not allow you to get in early. Even if there's no one in your sight, you can't get in. So, uh, <laughs> so I gotta go find a place to park. There's a day use area on the other side of the dam. So we gotta go back into Somerville. Stay tuned, more to come. Lake Somerville. This this has turned out to be um, kind of an interesting day. I left the I left Somerville State Park, headed over to Rocky Creek COE campground. I learned something that that you need to know, and I, and, I've, and you you already know. You you can't get in. They will not let you in until after three o'clock. So don't don't show up early. Uh, I should have just stayed at the state park so, because I asked her. Well, okay, where where's a where are the day use areas where I can go do some fishing? And she pointed me to, into at two different, or she gave me two different locations. One is uh, the marina on the south side of the, the, of the dam. Uh, the marina will allow you to fish on the, uh, on the marina platform for $5. 
it was very crowded. There was no way I could get the, I, I could, there was no place for me to park this, this rig. So the other location she gave me was Welch Park, which is on the north side of the dam, but you can't drive across the dam because they're working on it. So I had to go all the way back around into Somerville and I'm at Welch Park. I had to pay $3. It's a privately operated park. It's not a COE park, so my access pass was no good. Uh, it cost me $3 to get in. I've got a day pass, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down here. It looks like deep water. There's some boats right there, so I'm thinking maybe there's some fish here. Either way, I'm, I, either way, I can't get in until 3 o'clock, so I'm going to go make the most of it. Lake Somerville. All right, so at uh, I think it was Welch Park, there by the dam. I was kind of bored with it. There's a private campground. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I'm still waiting to to get in to Rocky Point. Well, hey, I wonder if there's any other public access points on Lake Somerville. Well, there, there's the marina. But you have to pay to get in there. Well, surely the Corps of Engineers has uh, has some boat ramps or something, something. And so I got on Google Maps and I found up the lake, up river from Rocky Creek Point, about ten minutes away. There's a a, a, a boat ramp. So I have made my way <laughs> to that boot ramp there's actually somebody living back there in the woods long-term campers they don't have a tent I have about 20 minutes half hour to 20 minutes before i can actually get into my campsite uh, so i'm not gonna deploy the the fishing gear i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pull out the boat or anything like that but giving you a heads up if you arrived at Lake Somerville before you can get into your campsite and you don't want to just sit in the convenience store parking lot and you don't want to pay to go in one of the other two places you can drive out here it's not exactly pretty I mean there's plenty of litter but man you could fish Lots of accessible shoreline there. And it looks like plenty of people come down here and fish and camp. <laughs> I think I've seen all I want to see. Well, here we are. We finally made it in the gate. He let me in three minutes early. <laughs> Apparently, they are really good. He said, as of March 1, I got these new, can't let you in, period. All right, so enough of that. Site number 44, it's actually a, an ADA site next to the group pavilion. We'll scoot over there in a little bit and see that. First, let's, let's, let's look at the site number 44. Lots of space, got a wood cover over the metal picnic table with the ubiquitous double lantern hook. Charcoal cooker. Nice big decomposed granite pad. It's a little hinky backing in because it kind of has a, a little curve to it. But there's plenty of room. So let's get that curve. It is a 50 amp, 50, 30, and water quite level I might add not any trees so during the middle of the summer this is going, this would be a very hot campsite but you can't beat the view if only the Sun would come out All right, a little late in the day to be it's a little too late in the day to, to do the scooter run but we're gonna jump on little red we're gonna go see some stuff so the first 
and last time and the only other time that I have been to Rocky Creek Park we, we still had the, the trailer the Sunset Trail but we stayed in this campsite number 61 it was a nice campsite wasn't available this time when we were here last time though there were so many reeds on the shoreline you could not access the water so fortunately they've they've cleared those out um, if you're booking a site out here just know the the sites on the inside of the loop they look like they look like they'd be really hard to get level Rocky Creek Park really has some nice tent sites check this out of course all the trees are gone I can imagine at one point that would have been a beautiful place to set up your tent now it'll be a little bit warm in the summer but check this out you're like right by the water walk right down there and go fishing go swimming let's go see a boat ramp we are at the boat ramp this is actually the courtesy dock and there's a sign that says absolutely you do nothing here but get on and off your boat And there's the two-lane boat ramp. Let's go see some more stuff. Seems that there's a quite a bit of this park that's closed off. Not sure why that is. I don't know. Let's keep looking. Oh. Rocky Creek Park. Rocky Creek Point. Rocky Creek Park. Corps of Engineer Campground. Big covered pavilion for your group gathering. And what was at one time a volleyball net? It appears that over half of the campground is closed for refurbishing uh, and it seems that the refurbishing has kind of stalled out it doesn't look like there's any fresh refurbishment you can see where they started but it looks like it just kind of stalled out maybe that was because of the COVID-19 thing anyway More to come. I had high hopes of lots more stuff to show you here at Rocky Point based on my last visit. But but with most of the park closed off for the apparently aborted, and I say that, I don't know if it's aborted or not. I just know that doesn't look like much is happening. But I cannot complain about this. This view is fantastic. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this for a little bit. And then maybe we'll go down to the by the boat ramp and see if we can catch some crappie. And Daddy always used to tell me, when the wind's out of the east, the fishing will cease. And I'm kind of inclined to believe him. So this is just down from the campsite. The wind is in our face. 
this is extremely shallow uh, as far out as I can cast that I mean it's maybe three feet deep so I, I can't get far enough out it's too windy to deploy it and and too late it's too windy and too late to deploy bobber I don't want to try oaring rowing into that or back at seven o'clock at night we've got weather coming in so when I was buying minnows the other day it, it's always it, to your advantage when you're buying minnows to have a young lady that doesn't like the ick factor of fish because she didn't want to count them I told her I wanted two dozen minnows and I think I ended up with probably three maybe four dozen she just scooped her net and dumped them in there um, which is cool I mean I, I haven't run out of minnows I'm gonna end up letting a bunch of them go for the birds to eat I've made the executive decision that since the weather's gonna really get nasty tomorrow afternoon, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up the the finish up this video for Rocky Point, Rocky Creek Park. I'm gonna finish up this video stuff here at Lake Somerville, and I'm gonna cruise north a, a few hours. Not sure if you can see them or not here at Rocky Creek Park Corps of Engineer campground this park is full of deer well Rocky Creek Park Corps of Engineer campground Somerville Lake we're done here uh, originally was was booked for two nights but there are thunder, rain and thunderstorms on the way. It's a six hour drive back to base camp. So I'm just going, I'm going to pack up. Well, I'm already packed up. I'm going to get on the road and head north. Take my time. No rush. Anyway, going to head back to RV base camp so I can edit videos for y'all brief recap of rocky rocky creek park it's a beautiful place that needs a lot of help no question about that um in the last time i was here it was well manicured and the park all almost all the park was open now a third maybe of, of, of campsites are available 
So if you can get in, consider, consider yourself to be very fortunate. There's tons of shore access, especially since there's no campers in most of the park. Lots of deer, as we just saw, uh, plenty of wildlife. If you have a boat, it's a great op place to launch your boat, uh, especially since Somerville, Lake Somerville doesn't have a whole lot of public access boat ramps, as we have seen. I would say it's definitely a destination but I don't know if it's an on if it would be an ongoing destination. I don't know that I'll ever come back because my my second time here was disappointing. It's a pretty it's an okay way stop because it, it's not you know too far off of northwest north south east and west. Not it, you could stop here for one night. I think there are other waypoints that are more convenient and I'll, I'll say that i'll leave it at that a fantastic view from this campsite though rocky creek park ah! so if this is your first visit to dude rv i'd uh, sure appreciate you considering clicking on that subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you i'm so very deeply honored and to my patrons I really appreciate y'all too. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now, you hear?